Okay, everybody, this here is MMO or MMORPG Tycoon. Tycoon. Oh my god, Tycoon 2. I can't believe I'm even speaking this way, but we'll make a new game here. Okay, so uh, our MMO is going to be John. Uh, Mike's and Emma. Let's see what sort of an icon we'll go with here. Doodly doodly do. Oh, some of these are pretty cool looking. Now, this game's been around for at least a couple of years, I think, and uh, still being developed. It's going to be role playing. The basic type role playing four plus the hand time. So we have four points unallocated. Um not sure exactly why this is. We'll add two to ad or one to advertising. Hugs for socializing. Uh, one to uh, bling, definitely, okay. Well, I don't know, definitely, just, okay, let's try that. Let's hope there's a tutorial to this. Uh, John and Mike's MMO. Now, I don't know if this is procedural, meaning that it's a different seeded map every time, or... Press OK below to begin. We'll cover basic movement. Gotcha. Use WASD keys. Gotcha on that one too. All right. Uh, now let's get a closer view. Zoom in. Oh, you can go right down to. Uh, Okay, holding down the middle mouse button because you had that. Okay, I'm gonna have to change. We're holding down the uh, mouse button. Oh, okay, right mouse button does the exact same thing as well. I'm gonna have to increase the speed on that. Great, to zoom out the whole map again. I got you. Spacebar puts it in pause mode, hit it again, puts it in play. This is the main status display, it tells... Crap, holy. Okay, okay. It tells you the name of the MMR, cool information about it right now. You don't have any subscribers, but we'll fix that soon. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. There's a systems button to provide information access to the design options. And now you to save your game. By the way, this game auto saves periodically when you exit. Gotcha. Alright, alright, alright. Now this is your main action bar. Your various tools for interacting with the world will appear here. I locked them all during this tutorial. Sorry about that. Okie doke. Before we can begin designing your wheel, we need to activate one of these regions to become a starting region for your new players. Look around and find a region you'd like to use for that. And then go to the grid view by clicking the highlighted tab on the action bar. There. And clicking the highlighted tab on the action bar. Gotcha. Now that there seems to be a bridge there between these two landscapes, so I don't know. Let's uh, take a closer look here. That's obviously. I find this landscape to be a little bit more interesting. Now, like I said, I don't know if it's procedural by, like, the landscapes are created by seed or not, so. I'm not sure. Okay. So obviously, I'm going to be able to pick just one little region, like here. Something, I guess. All right. What do I want to begin? I want to begin where it's nice and flush and beautiful. Something I can give my players. 
me and John's uh, subscribers a place to hang out and enjoy themselves a little bit and not feel threatened. And I'm not sure where to begin here. Hmm, what do I want here? Certainly, most certainly don't want that piece right there. Something nice. Uh, I guess we'll go with that region. Contents, terrain, color. More particles. We'll go to grid, and we'll purchase it. You must activate it. Okay. Activated regions have both a purchase cost and upkeep cost. The region you bought has turned green and found some one in it. That means, or this means any contact bill will be okay. Alright, now with that region has been activated, let's go to the main view, click the interact tab. Okay. If you like to adjust the terrain of the region, it's easiest to do it now before we start building things. Each region has four different terrain types. Okay. Uh, what's this? Calm, pleasant grassy fields. Okay, if you like to adjust the terrain and region, it's easy to do it now. Okay, each region is four different terrain. Click on the terrain tab to see them. But feel free to experiment with them now. Click OK when you're ready to continue. Okay, I'm not seeing much. Is there any change here? No. What's this one? Mushroom Grove. Okay, we already have mushrooms up north there. Chasm. Yeah, I'd like to put a couple of trees here. Oh, okay. Okay, so you click and drag how you want it. Okay, that's cool. I would like to put a barrier in between here. And that way, it'll feel like they're going into a totally different region entirely. Uh, okay, that already must be a green field. That's why I'm not able to place it. Okay, so it's removing the trees entirely. Okay, gotcha. We'll just put that back in. Okay, let's press OK. Pink. Okay, the first thing any region needs is a respawn point. If subscriber character dies in combat, they'll automatically respawn from the closest respawn point. What's more, developers and game masters can move around the game via the respawn point. Since developers and game masters travel through respawn points, having them near trouble spots can help the developers get work done more quickly. So the respawn point now. And that's what that is, okay. What do I want? Okay. Now, civilized respawn points. Coastal. Now we'll do civilized. Let's pan all the way down here. Um, how do you rotate here? Move, confirm placement, click, rotate 90 degrees. Okay. Hold down the Z and move. Okay, well, that's a pretty good idea. We'll put that right there. Okay, there we go. What's that look like here? Spooky. Yipper dipper. First switch to the network view. Okay, we have a network connection right now. Okay, we have no network connection right now. Uh, so let's install a network uplink. 
I used a highlighted tool. This means the cloud. Network uplinks bring bandwidth in and out of the morph. Okay, MMO. They let it up to able to fill the bandwidth. Cost and uplinks cost a lot of money. Okay, so I guess plump them one here maybe. We'll do it. Okay, now we have an uplink. We need to distribute the bandwidth it supplies. How much bandwidth is that? <clears throat> You don't need to connect exa or exactly to the respawn point, as long as it's in the highlighted region around the cable. It's close. Uh, it's close enough. Once bandwidth is running through the cable, it might have a few seconds for the respawn point to power up. We'll continue once it's powered. Okay, I'm not sure what. No bandwidth source. Okay, there. Let me pull out here. We'll put one here. 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 I want to get the bandwidth to cover everything here. If at all possible. I hope I'm doing it right, but you know, won't know until you try, right? Right, 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 right. I don't think we need to encompass too much of a mountain area. Is that all okay? Right click to undo a waypoint. Uh, start clicking on network node to move the mouse from the show. Okay, gotcha. Did I do it? No, I think I might have erased it. Yes, I may have erased it. <clears throat> I think I may have erased it there. Obviously I did, but I mean... Not... Quite... Um, Understanding. Okay, double click and you get that. Okay. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Thank you. Uh, right click to undo a waypoint to place a cable, then move the mouse and click the right there to finish your cable. Double click to finish. Okay, well, there you go. So, how that works? Okay, buildings. Okay, it looks like we're covered. Uh, okay, what to say here next? Let's build an inn somewhere near the respawn point, which is down this way. Oop, Mike, Mike, a little too fast there, dude. Okay, how do I want to do an inn here? Now, let's build an inn somewhere near the respawn point. Players will want to set home. Where are they going? You'll need at least one in each region you use. Okay, gotcha. Alright, so we're going to be doing an N. Let's do a nice little N for everybody. Ooh, a nice little N there. That's a nice little N. Ooh, look at that. I like spooky ends. I like keeping everything like, um, I like small N. Now, if I remember correctly, hold down Z and we can spring it around here. Yeah, we'll have you just like so. Oh, can't do it there, huh? And Z or X for precise mode. That should be good enough. Okay, did you notice a little red cursor arrow in the trial and you built? That was one of the developers tuning it on, turning it on. Oh, okay, I didn't see that actually. Developers need to visit every building you can start to enable them and they travel on your respawn point. If your respawn points are very far away, this could take some time. Okay, I got this. What do I do now? Let's build a blacksmith. Okie dokie, I'm all for blacksmiths. <clears throat> Uh, 
I want something to keep something in day or uh, in tune with what I'm building here. Hold on, that's a potion shop. It's not a blacksmith. Okay, hold on, what am I doing here? That's a potion shop, potion, potion. There it is. Okay, we got blacksmiths here. Okay, where is the entrance to this thing? There it is there. You know, sometimes I kind of like having it all face in. Right? Fine, let's build a shop. Most of the player goal, uh, goal come from selling the vendor trash to take off to feed monsters. Please place a sh okay, please place a shop short of the balance can be place a shop on I mean. What sort of a shop should we put there? What do you guys think? Well it'll be just a shop shop, so I don't wanna do warlike What's this here? That's a poster shop, don't want that. I hope the dev allows for modding for the game, that would be cool. Yeah, you know, I don't like that spooky shop. I was kind of hoping for it to be spooky. We'll do a civilized shop. Uh, okay, so that's obviously that. We'll pull that around here. But I want to be able to see what the guys are all up to here. Okay, why am I... Okay. Alright. Let's just tweak it a little bit more and make it shooting in like that. And there we go. Alright. Okay, players only know about places they've seen or heard about. But they can always see landmarks in the region no matter how far away they are. Place a landmark somewhere near your inn, so players can see their way back home. Okay. Well, okay, yeah, a marker. Okay, we could go with... That looks interesting, isn't it? We could go with that. Should I put that in the center? Put that right in the center, man. Yeah. Now we should uh, create some monster zones. Monster zones require a lot of bandwidth, particularly if they are big. You may need to run some extra network cabling out through them to keep them online. Click OK and we'll get started. Okay, okay I've enabled the monster zoning tools for you on the NPCs tab. Gotcha. You can create a few large monster zones. I recommend each. Be about as big as three or four map squares, but feel free to go larger if you want. Catch it. Uh, oh, okay. All right. We'll go skeleton. Now I don't want it too close to this, so we'll go. And then we'll go with a spider zone. And then we'll go with a uh, cobalt. Cobalt? Is that what that is? And then we'll go with skeleton again. We'll bring it right straight through there. So there's a mixture. Kind of hoping that there would be actually more monster types. They're all level ones. 
Okay, feel free to keep any monsters on until you feel you have enough. Well, that looks so far okay. But I want to put spiders up and through here. Oh, okay. It's asking me to do something else. Finally, place a few quest giver NPCs. Gotcha. Um, well, normally quest NPCs start off here, so that's what we'll do. Hmm. Okay. Guard down. And normally they're hanging out around. Shut. Oh, hold on. I didn't want to do that. How do I delete him? Yeah, he's facing the other way. I don't want. Oh, there he goes. Hello, little dude. Okay, fine. Let's place a few quest givers. We're going to do a different one. Actually, no. You know, we're, we're going to stick with this little dude. Okay, how do we, do we turn him the same way or no? No, we do not. We just plant him. Okay. Okay, quest givers. Almost done. Let's think about roads for a minute. Oh, crap. I didn't want to do that. There we go. Quests. Go to skeleton zone. Kill five skeletons. Am I able to edit any of these? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. Edit quest. Um, okay, that way I can go to... Okay, how is it? Didn't... Then I don't want them taking on... Well, they're all level ones right now, so... Okay, we'll just go with the default and see what we can do. Let's think about roads for a minute. When a subscriber wants to go somewhere, they'll usually just run straight there. And this can send them to dangerous areas. If you place roads, they will usually follow them. Try placing a few roads using the road building tool. Paths. And that's the basics. You should now have a fully functional starter region. You're ready to release version 1.0 of your game. Click all OK to proceed. Yeah, but I want to do the pass. How's it on my right? What's this? Okay, it's showing me that it's online. How's it I can't choose to pass? Let's release the game start getting subscribers. Yeah, but I want to do the pass. How's it? I wasn't able to do the pass. Alright, that's not what I wanted to do, guys. I wanted to do the pass. Crap, wouldn't let me. Oh, look at the cash I have on hand. Look at my net worth. All right, well, okay, click the upgrade button at the top left corner of the screen and choose a starting point. Park. Well, there's a little bit to this game. When a new player joins the game, they'll appear from a starting point. Uh, if you have more than one, new subscribers will, divide, will be divided uh, between them. I don't know. Release. You're all ready to go. I've unlocked all your editing tools. Have fun. Okay, well, I want to set a pass. There we go. Now we've got the pass. Now pass. Usually go from here. Interaction building, huh? Can I decrease this in size? Okay, now... How do I delete it? Oh, there we go. Uh, nope. Place a pass by second in the area and go against this path. And move the, the, move the mouse. 
if there's extra buildings, so how do I delete that? Delete? No. There has to be a way to delete this thing. Okay, kind of an odd way to do that, but heck, I'll go with it. Um, intercept the building. That's an awfully huge path. That is humongous. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. No, see that's okay. Maybe I should have given it more room. Uh. All right, how about we have a path <clears throat> goes like this. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Okay, and we pull, let me see where we're heading here. We'll have a path go around here. Have it go through the forest. Through the spider zone or whatever. That's a cobalt zone, is it not? Okay, I'm not sure, to be honest. Oh, crosses itself, so we'll do that. Uh, there, there, there. Yeah, but shouldn't I be able to? Link in? You think I'd be able to? Okay. I think for now that'll. Well, no, I should bring a, a path through here, shouldn't I? Yeah, I have people think that. I have no idea what I'm doing outside of this. There we go. Okay. I don't like the look of that. Be nice if I was able to make the. Yeah, see, there's no way for me to do that. Yeah. Okay, so buildings. What's it? Uh, gates. You're ready to go. I've unlocked. Okay, when you're ready, subscribers. Okay, what are we? This is obviously the gates they come through. It has to be. There's obviously a spooky gate. Let's pull that as close as I can get it. And that is where they come in. Okay. Um. Guess we just came online. All right. What do we got? It's a really ugly looking place, to be honest with you. Let's.
All right, I'm really liking what I'm seeing here, and I forgot to turn on my mic. Here I was talking away. Yeah, I just went ahead and I um, uh, yeah, there's a streamer here coming online. Popular web influencer Kitten Purple has announced they'll be live streaming themselves playing our game. That should be good publicity for us. Uh, they'll be connecting on day two at around four in the morning. Well, there you go. Must be from Europe. Deadly Awakening Content <clears throat> Everything's powered up We have two NPCs Two quest givers Sky color uh, The sky What do you, It should be dark Should it not? Like, I don't know, let's go down here. That's a point of doing everything, right? I mean, make it spooky. I like Halloween stuff, man. Typo. Oh, so I can just pick and choose from there. Okay, gotcha. Contents, building, blacksmith. Powered, so I can go and power things up if I need to. Online, logging queue. Okay, good, good. Um, Alright, let's unpause it and see what's going on. We got a little dude here. Oh, that's our quest giver. That's one of my favorites. A deli dove. Okay. Is that a girl or a boy? Paladin. Okay, Donga. That's John Snick. Hold on. Where's Jonga? Where'd Jonga go? Where'd you go, John? I should have. All right, where's the NPCs? Well, not NPCs, but where are the... We'll name him. And we'll enter that. Put him as a favorite. So I can keep an eye on my... But where's John? I want John. Pickles should not be pickles. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to change the name to that. Cody. No. Monty. He's one of my favorite streamers or uh, content creators. So we're going to favorite you. Yep, there you go. I'm going to name all of you. So if you want um, your name in here, you let me know and I will put it in for you. But where in the name is... Where are you, John? This has to be a way for me to monitor here, so... Pass, building scenery. Okay. Dismiss, cat, cat, or kitten purple or whatever. Where are you, John? Where are you? The last time I saw you, you were in here. There you are. There you go. It'd be nice if they added, uh, from what I'm looking at here, it would be nice to be able to to follow your people into fully working each one of subscribers. Okay, let's go. Let's just see how things progress here. Oh, they're all hanging out. 
Me and John are there. Monty's over there getting the quest. There goes John. Go get him, John. You're a killer, buddy. You're a killer. Go, go, go. You're level ones, man. You should be able to... Okay, why are you going through a tree? Good kill. One smack. Gee, John. You're a killer, dude. Okay, obviously the quest was really quite easy. There's Monty. He's, he's a little tree dude. <laughs> There's Drax. I haven't even gone out yet, I don't think. No, I'm just hanging around. John was going to the shop. Okay, I would really like to... I know the game is still in development, but I would like to see them stop at the front instead of going right in. And if they go in there... I would like to have them the dev to open it up and put in like if you go into an inn it looks like an inn inside right I mean that that would be cool I mean I think I'd like that a lot more all right so we got Shimmersty enlightened his quests are go skeleton kill seven and return to me go to okay that's the other, like, so I can add, keep adding quests up to, what, four or five there? One, two, three, four, five, five quests. I should be able to go as far as I want with that instead of just a couple. Like, instead of five, I should be able to go as long as I can keep adding, you know. Gee. Okay, looks like we have more people in here. Like I said, if you want your name in here, I'd definitely put it in. <clears throat> now these paths, they should, uh, not should, but I would like to see it happen where, you know, I can trim up the size, the width of it. You know, if I want, like these are quite large. I would like to have, like if I want to, to bring it up and around through here. It would have been smart to lay down the paths first, then the buildings, so. I would like to see more of a, an arrangement of character dresses here. Because, um, there has to be a way to procedurally create these designs. Um, yeah, go out there. We got a little dude over here who doesn't know what he's doing. Drax. Okay, we're going to change your name, Drax. We're going to have you be called Hold on, that's not it. You will be La Tyre. Lottery. What you doing with Lottery? You're just hanging out, dude. What's up with that? A subscriber release has reached level 2. This would be a great time to delve into player customization a little bit more. In the design tool, you can customize both the appearance and also the combat abilities of the class. Oh, really? Okay. Alright. How would I go about doing that? If you do provide higher level abilities for your players, you'll need some class trainers to teach players to use those new abilities. You'll need trainers, matching... See, I would love to see the graphics from World of Warcraft, right? Those level of graphics and, and uh, <clears throat> open up my own world for that. Go get them, Otari. Lotari. Don't let them hurt you, Latari. Don't let them hurt you. Come on, Latari. Beat them. Beat them. Come on, beat them down. Come on, Latari. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. You end up dying, Latari. Water egg. 
come on. Dude, we got people fighting all over the place. Come on, Latare. Oh, okay, there we go. Place trainer. Okay, Latare, I hope you're going to do okay, bud. I don't want to see one of my friends get injured. Look at them, they're all pounding on each other. All right. All right, so what am I doing here? So I have to place trainers. We're going to, do, we're going to place a paladin trainer because apparently a lot of these guys are paladins. It looks like. Uh, we'll put it there. If you do double, provide higher level abilities for your players, you'll need to some class trainers. You'll need trainers to match each of the players' class that you want to be able to learn. Okay. Put him here. And a scout here. Okay. Now, these are trainers, are they not? I'm not sure what I can do with this dude. Okay, I'm not sure. You'll need trainers matching each of the player classes that you want to be able to learn the new combat moves you created. Okay. Now that you have a level 2 player, you're going to need a level 2 regent. Gotcha. Uh, Monty died. Oh, come on, Monty. Come on. You're, you're a fighter, dude. You're a fighter there, Mr. Monty. Alright, level 2 area. What's this do? Activate it. Before you can build a region, you must activate it. So you're telling me I need to activate a different region, huh? Okay, we need something that's going to be looking snazzy pazzy here. Put you guys to the test. Because quite frankly, it's going to be nasty. Now, <clears throat> Oh, Jonga. Oh, he's putting a pounding on something. Oh, oh, who's dying? Who's dying? Okay, folks. Um, I have something I need to do. It's 1.08 a.m. So I'll leave the video here. We'll pause it. We're going to see if I can't save the game. My save. Okay, folks, this is where it's going to end. Like I said, if you want your your names in there, you know, pick and choose your name, and I'll put it on in there. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video, folks. Take care. I'm actually enjoying this.